Hey there guys. So this was some bench press from early this week, um, being Wednesday. So this is my primary upper body training session. I've sort of gone for a bit of a deload now. Um, no competitions due to current events in Victoria, Australia. So um, for me, it's yeah, deload, try and keep as much strength as possible. Um, and work on quality technique for my next training block. So for me, that comes in the form of three sets of seven at 180 kilos, and then two back off sets of 10 at 150 kilos. The reasoning behind that is the three sets of seven, I should hopefully be able to maintain quite comfortably as I diet down. Um, you know, I've gone from tens down to sevens. It's not too taxing, obviously, at the moment, and I want to keep, you know, some energy in reserve to help with recovery. The 150 kilos for tens, that's just to get a little bit more volume in, but still with a weight that moves really, you know, fast. The reps look clean, the technique's on point, and it just pumps a little bit of extra blood into the muscle. Um, yeah, it'll help a bit with recovery, but also just helps keep me, you know, conditioned with the sets of 10. From there, I've then gone to do some overhead barbell press. The original plan was three sets of 10 at 100 kilos, followed by two sets of 10 at 80. Ideally, I was going to split the session into two components, one being bench, the second then being the overhead press, but I was limited for time. So with the overhead press, I got a set of nine, then a set of 10, then a set of nine at 100 kilos, and then I had... Uh, dropped it down, sorry, to 80 kilos um, and got two sets of 10, you know, quite comfortably. Um, that is how I'm going to try and maintain my upper body strength on the primary day. The secondary day um, later on in the week is just, you know, push-ups, one-arm dumbbell, shoulder press, uh, two sets of 10 of bench, like 140, um, and working various angles at a lighter weight. In a way, it's a little bit more like bodybuilding, but I'm keeping, you know, reps in the tank, and I'm just trying to keep volume somewhat respectable, but also keep um, fatigue at an absolute minimum. Um, currently, I'm still doing night shift as well, so I've got that, you know, three shifts back-to-back, -back, the 13-hour shifts, so... I don't really get as much time to train because after I've come off the, the night shift, the next day I just, you know, I sleep the whole day um, and the shifts are 13 hours and work is an hour away on top of that. So, you know, 15 hours taken out of my day it only leaves me with nine and in that nine I need to eat, sleep and get ready for work. So um, essentially at the moment I only really have three days to train properly um, and it becomes a bit of a challenge. If you guys have any further questions or anything relating to how to put together a training split, just um, comment below. If you guys haven't already, hit like and subscribe. Otherwise, have a great day wherever you are.